So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can get your own modern police cars and how you can actually unlock them in GTA 5 Online after the new patch of 1.68 and the new Chop Chop DLC. And yeah, no, this is not clickbait. You can now actually own police cars, which is definitely pretty cool. But before we get into the video, if you want to join my newly modern account giveaway, all you got to do is drop a like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and comment the word giveaway. So if you don't know, I'm giving away an account this month. So if you want to enter, I guess you could. I'm announcing the winner on the 1st of January, so uh, I think I'm gonna start, I'm gonna stop yapping and get straight with the method. All right, so basically to actually unlock the police car, what you have to do is go inside your like new, I, I don't know what this thing is called, the new location, like the new business, and you're gonna have to start the first prep mission, so the salvage yard robbery, so you gotta scope out the new police station, or you gotta scope it out. Basically, it's very easy. You just take pictures and you just send them to Jamal, and after you've done that, it will just let you go back to the salvage yard and then you will actually unlock the first police car right over here. The other police cars, you just need to lose wanted level, but this one right here is the hardest one to get. And as you can see, now I can buy it. And uh, now I'll show you how you can actually make it modded. First thing which you have to do is you need to bookmark this job in the description down below. So if you're on PlayStation, you're gonna have to bookmark the PlayStation one. And if you're on Xbox, you're gonna have to uh, bookmark the one for Xbox. You're gonna scroll right down here. Uh, by the way, for this right here, you don't actually, like you will need a donor card to transfer the mods to the cop car, but you could just use like a regular Benny car. If you have Benny wheels, and if you put that on any other car, it will be considered modern. So on PlayStation, it should be called Transform Cop. I'm not sure what's gonna be called on Xbox, but in the description down below, like I said, I will leave two links to it. So yeah, now you will start the job. This method is 100% solo, so you're not gonna need anyone to actually. Make sure you put time of day to noon. Um, I heard that like makes it like work, but I'm not sure. Just do it just in case. Um, I, I don't think it's necessary, but just in case, make sure you do do it. And now just like put the car that you want all the modifications to go to your cop car. So as you can see, me I have a lot of modded cars. Um, since I do live stream and uh, I do buy and sell with my subscribers. If you don't want to join, I'm probably live line right now, you know. Um, you could do that. So as you can see, do load in. You don't have the modded cop car just yet. It is a bit glitched, but what you're going to have to do here, once you do load in, you will have to go and wait the timer. And once the timer right now, you're going to have to drive through that checkpoint right there. And once you do drove through the checkpoint, um, just oh, respawn. And once you've respawned, you will see that you do have your modded cop car. So it's definitely pretty cool. The only thing that it's not permanent, it's only for this job. But around Friday, I will be making a video on how you can get this on the personal vehicle version. So make sure you click that red subscribe button. That way you don't miss it. It's literally the red subscribe button. Just click on it and that way you won't miss out. Uh, but this one, this method is pretty cool. It's solo. You don't need anyone for it. Uh, but yeah, I'll be making a method on Friday on hiking or either like next Friday on how you can get a modded, like your own modded cop car. Or you can watch my last video on the mer new merge glitch. So you could do the merge glitch with this. So merge. Um, uh, yeah, so it's definitely pretty cool. Can't okay, actually, you can get out of your car if you set the race type to GTA. Uh, you can actually walk around. I forgot to do that. Um, but yeah, it's definitely pretty cool. You could like take pictures with your friends. You could like show your friends and be like, yo, I have a modded cop car. Yeah, they're probably not even gonna know how you got it, but it's definitely pretty cool. Yeah, if you did enjoy this video, make sure you comment down below if this method did work for you. So other people trying this out also do know that it works. And I'm gonna catch out in my next video. Peace. And I'm also gonna put some videos on the screen right now that you can click on. Also, other 